up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Tanisha, coming to you again. How are you doing? Good. I'm glad. I really, really am. I just got off of Facebook, and I was looking at a post of a young lady who, um, she basically got involved with a man who was married. And when she got involved with this man who was married, she ended up getting pregnant by him. And after she got pregnant by this married man, he ended up killing her because she got pregnant by him and threatened to tell his wife, okay? So stick with me. Married man messes with single woman. Married man gets single woman pregnant. Single woman says, I'm going to tell your wife, married man. Married man kills single woman who also had a three-year-old daughter who also was teacher of the year. She was an upstanding citizen career-wise, but she was messing around with a married man. Ladies, I cannot say this in any other way that I can say it is, if he is not your man, leave him alone. If he has a wife, if you know he has a girlfriend, if he has a friend with benefits, if he has any other connection to another woman romantically, sexually, leave him alone, okay? I'm trying to save somebody's life tonight. Some of y'all been messing around with married men. Some of y'all been messing around with men who y'all know have a girlfriend and y'all know the girlfriend slick throwed off. She done called you. She done been on your social media stalking you. She done did all kind of different things. And you're steady messing around with this married or involved man. Now when his wife or girlfriend or baby mama or whatever she is show up at your doorstep, what you gonna do then? It's too late at that point of time because the situation is now in your face. So this is what I'm saying to you. If he's not your man, if he's not single, free and clear single, no attachments to another woman romantically, sexually, physically, then you can deal with him. But if you know he got another woman, you know he has a wife, you know he has these other situations going on, number one, you deserve better. You deserve a man who can focus on you, who can focus on your relationship with him, not focus on who, if I can get her and call her at eight o'clock and then call her at nine o'clock and then call her at 10 o'clock, sending everybody the same good morning baby text message in the morning. You deserve better than that. Plain and simple. Somewhere along the line, somebody that lied to us as women and told us that we have to accept anything and everything that a man does, says, and gives to us. And at the, as a result, we've lowered the standard. We've lowered the bar. And now, as a result, men just feel like they can just throw whatever they want to in our direction, whatever trash, whatever, whatever mess they want to throw in our direction, and we're just supposed to receive it because we so hungry for a man, or we so want to be in a relationship, or we so want to have somebody laid up next to us at night. See, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, and he basically said, he said, Facebook got y'all females messed up in the head, because y'all see all these pictures of women booed up with their man on vacations, going here, driving around, riding around, taking selfies while they riding through the city, and all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, you don't know what's going on in those people's relationship. You just caught a snap a picture of them having a good time. But later on that evening, you don't know if they got into a fight, if, some, if the police got called. You don't know if that was the first time that they didn't talk because he was cheating on her. You don't know what people's relationships consist of when you're watching Facebook and Instagram. So stop letting this stuff slip, get you confused about relationships. Facebook and Instagram got folk gone in the head when it comes to relationships. Stop feeling like you got to have a relationship because you see everybody else in a relationship. I would much rather be by myself and be happy than be in a relationship and be miserable. Now, I would much, much rather be in a relationship and be happy than either one of those two things. But I'll wait for my time. I just got out of a relationship. I'm not trying to get back in one right now. But my point being this, ladies. Think more highly of yourself instead of just taking somebody's leftovers, taking somebody's uh, second chances, taking somebody's um, a sequel. Stop doing that. Stop doing that because you're playing yourself. 
You are playing yourself when you start feeling like you got to deal with a married man because he's showing you attention. You know why he's showing you attention? Because you're probably giving off the aura of being desperate. You're probably giving off the aura of feeling like, um, I need a man. Men pick up on that. Men are, I'm, I mean, really this sounds historical and prehistoric, but men are hunters. Do you understand what I'm saying? Men are hunters and they can pick up on a woman who is desperate. They can pick up on a woman who has low self-esteem. They can pick up on a woman who really ain't too sure about themselves. And as a result, they go at if you ever watch the Discovery Channel, the Discovery Channel is my favorite channel because at the end of the day, we are animals, whether you want to believe it or not. I'm a mammal, you're a mammal, we're all mammals. When you watch the Discovery Channel, the lion always goes after the buffalo who's either the youngest the, or the sickest, showing some kind of weakness. Men do that to women, whether it's subconscious or unconscious or whatever it may be. And I'm not saying all men, but for the most part, men have this hunter nature about them. So guess what? When you out looking desperate, when you're out looking like you have low self-esteem or, or lack of confidence, men are picking up on this. And if a married man can pick up on that and he can see that, guess what? If I approach her, I might be able to have a good time with her when I'm not trying to be a husband. You see what I'm saying? Married men get tired of being married sometimes. So guess what? They step outside of their marriage and they go find a female who they can just have fun with, who they can just frolic with, who they can just play with. So you gotta ask yourself, am I a toy? Am I a yo-yo? Am I a Barbie? Am I a Lego? What exactly type of toy am I to where I'm allowing this married man to keep coming playing with me, playing with my emotions, playing with my mental well-being, playing with my self-esteem, playing with me as an individual? I'm so serious, ladies. We gotta get to the point to where we say, you know what, I am more than just a toy. I am more than just someone who he can just give a little bit of time to and then I'm satisfied. I know it gets hard sometimes being single and sometimes seeing all the stuff you see on Instagram and Facebook and a lot of times half those people don't even be happy. I understand sometimes you want somebody who you can call your own. That's human nature. But if at the end of the day, you the one who you calling your own really ain't your own, like he, you really sharing him, like he community property. Like he belongs to you and her and, and her over there and, and her over there and can't forget about them over there. If he belongs to everybody, one, you're putting your health in danger. Two, you're putting your, your well-being in danger because nobody wants that. When he leave your house and you got to worry about who he's with, if he coming back, what time he coming back, y'all probably arguing because he ain't answering his phone when he out, all this other stuff. <coughs> so that whole little article got me kind of like fired up. Like, look, if he ain't yours, then let him be. It's too many men out here. First of all, if you're trying to get you, a, if you're trying to get into a decent relationship, you need to start dating like men date. Men don't just find one guy and dedicate all their time to him, to her. I mean, excuse me, men don't just find one woman and dedicate all their time to that one woman. You know what they do? They date this one, they date that one, they date this one, and they date that one. Now, notice I said date. I didn't say sleep with. I didn't say end up in his bed. I didn't say uh, perform uh, other kind of things on. I said he dates them. So, in other words, don't stop just finding one guy and feeling like you got to invest all your time, all your energy, all your everything into this one guy before you really even know what he's about. If you're on the dating scene and you're a single lady, date him, date him, and date him. It may get a little tiresome, but you know, hey, it, or just date two different guys. My point being this, stop putting all your eggs in one basket and then when the basket drops and all the eggs break, then you're kind of upset and shattered and in shambles and then you got to pick back up again and start back all over again. When you, look, when companies are interviewing for a candidate, the first candidate that they like is not necessarily the first candidate that they pick. Several people send in their resumes. Several people apply for the position. And you go through the qualifications of every one. Sometimes you can just look right at their resume and say, nope, not that one. Case in point, I was a guy I met. Now, I'm not one to hold you against, you know, whatever you didn't did in the past. This guy, he had just got out of prison. 
strike number one. I'm sorry. Just for me, strike number one. He had just got out of prison for shooting somebody. And he on 20 years parole. 20 years probation, 20 years parole. Guess what, boo-boo? We don't even have to move to the next part of the interview. We really don't. We don't have to move to the next stage of the interview. You're probably not going to be the kind of person that I think I want to be involved with. So guess what? His resume got tossed out. You know? But then I met another guy. Southern gentleman works hard you know i might consider his resume Do you, i'm using a metaphor but i'm hoping you're understanding what i'm saying ladies if you want a decent man stop settling for an un a not decent man because he's in your way he's in your way of you finding what's really for you he's in your way of finding what's really good for you do you understand what i'm saying so if you got a man that you know tied up tangled up and all everything else with another woman, let him go. Let him go. This lady ended up dead behind trying to be with a married man. She ended up dead. Now her three-year-old daughter has to be raised by somebody else. But she ended up dead because she wanted to kick it with a married man. No, your life is not, I don't care how long and strong it is, your life is not worth that kind of relationship with a man. If he's married, let him be married and work whatever he got to work out with his wife. Stop acting like you got to put up with, oh, you're married and you're not really, okay, y'all not getting along? Okay, well then I can kind of deal with you. No, if he's married, get out the way of that marriage. Stop, be a, stop being a stumbling block for that marriage. Let that married man work out his problems with his wife. Stop trying to ease his pain and rub him on the back and be a listening ear to him because you're doing nothing but trying to build a relationship or an emotional connection with this man. That's exactly what you're doing. And as a result, number one, you're going to get in trouble with God because God said, well, he put together, let nobody put asunder. So I'm not even going to touch on that right now, but get out the way of the marriage because when you get in a relationship, you might have to eat that same thing that you tried to feed to somebody else. Do you understand what I'm saying? So get out of the midst of that middle of that, 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 that holy matrimony. Point blank, point, period. If he is single, then date him. But make sure he really single. A lot of these men be having two different lives. Do you understand what I'm saying? During the day, he at work doing his thing. But at night, you don't hear from him no more. Why? Why you don't hear from him no more? I don't understand. What? After 6 o'clock, why I don't hear from you no more? What's the problem? That should be a red flag. If you are a truly single man, this is my test. If you are a truly single man, I should be able to call you at any time that I want to call you. And you should be able to pick up the phone. That's truth be told. A really single man would be able to pick up the phone at any given time. Now, mind you, he may be at work. Okay, you at work, cool. But if I call you at 12 midnight and I don't get an answer, I call you at 10 o'clock, I don't get an answer. I call you at 9 o'clock, I don't get an answer. Why I keep not getting the answers? Lady, I need ladies, I need y'all to be a little bit more smart about game that's being ran on y'all by men. And I'm not by any means making it seem like all men are running game because there are some good, stand-up, honest, um, hardworking, wonderful men out there. There are several of them. Several, 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 several of them. There's one for you. He waiting on you. Just hold on. <coughs> but I'm talking about when you know he's in a relationship. You know he got that little tan around his wedding ring because he take it off every time he come around you. You you know he got somebody else because he always got his phone upside down so you never ever see who's calling. You know it's somebody else because every time he on the phone with you, you know, he'll be like, well, let me, let me call you back right quick. Let me call you back right quick. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you got two options. You either need to get it together and say, okay, I'm, we know if we're not exclusive, then we're going to date. Do your thing. I'm going to do my thing. Don't infringe upon me. I won't infringe upon you. But if y'all are, if he is not single, cut it, cut it, cut it. Like the song say, cut it off. Because this is really sad. Now, this lady has lost her life because she wanted to get involved with a married or an involved man. And nowadays, folks is slick throwed off out here in these streets. Do you understand what I'm saying? Lives do not matter to a lot of people, especially if they're in a fit of rage when you don't know what they're going through. You don't know if that woman will come to your house. You don't know if that man will do like in this situation. And if you end up pregnant by him mistakenly, he will end your life. That's what happened here. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. All because y'all wanted to sit up and have relations because y'all want to have relations. See, I'm not going to get into preaching, but there's a lot of reasons why God says the things that he says. He says, one man, one woman, come together, y'all stick it out. That's what he said. And there's a reason why he says stuff like that. To protect us. It's not because he want to prevent us from having fun, or he want to prevent us from, you know, living a, a good life. Or He said, one man, one woman, together, get married, stick it out for the rest of your life. That's what he said. And that saves us from a lot of heartache. It saves us from a lot of mental anguish. It, ha it saves us from a lot of different things. And true, some, some marriages don't work. I understand all that. I understand all that. I've been married, so I understand all that. So I'm not even going to get into all of that. But my point being is that the word of God oftentimes is to protect us. It's not to prevent us from having fun, but it's to protect us. So again, ladies, I just want to come on here, jump on here right quick. I'm not going to talk y'all ear off. But if you're dealing with a man and you know he's dealing with someone else, he has a girlfriend, he has a, a wife, and all this other extracurricular activity, and you know this, you need to cut him off. Again, I was inspired by this story of this lady who ended up dead because she was dealing with a married man and she ended up pregnant by him. And in order for him to cover up the pregnancy, he just killed her. So now he's put up on kidnapping charges, felony, felonious kidnapping charges, felony murder and felony infanticide infanticide and now the woman is dead and the three-year-old daughter um has to be raised by a family member so this was sad and tragic but i just really hope this touched someone i hope someone understood what i'm saying i really really just hope that this will open somebody's eyes i know the way he make love to you i know the way he talks to you i know the way he call you and act like he's concerned about you. I know the flowers that he done sent on your job. I know the jewelry that he showers you with. I know you like those handbags, those shoes, those trips to extravagant places. I know all of that stuff is wonderful. But you gotta ask yourself, <coughs> is my life worth it? Because at the end of the day, you're gonna have to pay a price. If you're messing around with a man who's involved with someone else, you're gonna have to pay a price. You can pay on the front end or you can pay on the back end. But you're going to pay. Okay? And I'm only saying this out of love. Again, this has been your girl Tanisha from Talk to Tanisha. You can find me on all social media platforms. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Just look up Talk to Tanisha. Talk to the number two, Tanisha. T-Y-N-I-S-H-A. And again, I'm giving you a big old hug from afar. And until next time, bye.